What's up everybody? It has um, definitely been a while since I have uploaded a video, but I'm going to try to keep uploading, be a little more consistent than I was, and um, give you good content that you're interested in. So let's just see how it goes. I'm giving it another shot. Don't give up on something that you really enjoy, right? And I really enjoy making videos, I enjoy editing them, I enjoy watching videos, so um, we're gonna give this another go and see how it plays out. Anyway, let's just get into the video. I wrote down some notes here. If it will focus, I guess not, but I did. And, um, I wanted to update you on what's been going on in the past year, like a year ago, I had one kid, I um, think I, yeah, I, t I let YouTube know that I was pregnant again. My youngest is now six months old and Jaden is three and a half, so, you know, I'm kind of go, go, go and busy with that life, the kid life, you know, but it's fun, it's exciting, it's exhausting, but every day is different and every day there's something new going on, you know? Um, another thing is I am pregnant again. Crazy, I know. I am 19 weeks, I believe. Halfway through already. Which is totally crazy. Um, I am going to have Irish twins, and if you don't know what that is, Irish twins is when they are a year or calendar year apart. Um, so very close in age. What are Josh and I up to? I am still working at Red Robin just part time. I work three days a week and Josh works full-time at Oslin Group, and he is also running his own um, business. He's trying to get it up off the ground and start it. I'm very proud of him for that. It's a lot of work because he also, he obviously works his full-time 40-hour job, and then he's trying to be a dad, and on top of that, he's trying to start a business, so he has a lot going on. He, um, splits and cuts firewood, he goes up in the mountain, he cuts down the trees, he does the whole shebang, and he recently just got a dump trailer, so he's providing other services, like, um, whoa, I just drew a blank, I know what he does, <laughs> but he delivers, like, soil, rock, he'll go on your property and clean up your property, um, if any of you know, the fire season in southern Oregon is terrible terrible down here. I'd say from about mid-July to end of September, beginning of October, the air quality around here is just terrible. Like, let me repeat that. Terrible. Um, last year it was so bad where they were handing out face masks for free because they didn't want people walking around um, outside without a mask on. It was terrible. I was pregnant. I was in the sensitive category. I had a um, two-year-old and so he was in the sensitive category and he has a lot of energy and it was just bad because we couldn't really go outside. I felt bad because it was summer. It was hot. It was nice out other than the smoke. So anyway, what I'm getting at is that he also offers fuel reduction services to help people clean up their property and get ready for that time of the year so that their house doesn't burn down or their nice property doesn't burn down um, or anything like that. But this video isn't about me. It's not, well, kind of is about me actually, it's, but it's not about Josh's job. Um, so anyway, let's just get into the video as to what it actually is about. Sorry for right over here. It looks like crap. Don't judge me. That's life. Nobody's house is pristine. So, and if it is, A plus. Good for you. Um, the main point of this video is Irish twins. I haven't seen like an abundance amount of these videos on YouTube, so I figured, hey, 
let's do it, you know? Why not? <laughs> um, like I said before, Irish twins is when they are a year or less apart, and Jaden and, sorry, not Jaden, Jacob is six months old, and I am 19 weeks. My due date is August 23rd, and Jacob was born on September 28th, but I had Jaden early, I had him at 36 weeks, four days, and I had Jacob at 36 weeks, exactly. So, if the trend stays up to date, I'm probably going to have this baby at the end of July. Crazy. Um, so they'll be about 10 months apart, I believe. Uh, um, yeah, nuts, right? Anybody else out there have kids that aren't even a year apart, less than that? Hit me up in the comments below and let me know it's going to be okay. Because I'm freaking out over here. <laughs> um some of the upsides to having kids so close is I feel in my head that that kind of is going to make them be like best friends you know like even though siblings you want them to be best friends even if they're three years apart um it's kind of inevitable that they're gonna have different um what's the word different interests as they get older and um not like too different but they're gonna be a couple grades apart and everything like that. Anyway, when they're this close, I feel like it's so easy to try to figure out an activity for both of them to do and both of them be interested in and everything like that. I'm very excited that, I know it sounds kind of bad, but I'm a little excited to kind of just get like the pregnancy, pregnancies and the baby stage over with. I do not enjoy being pregnant at all. I wish I could just skip to, having the baby nine months and have it already but you can't do that so I'm pregnant <laughs> um, I do enjoy little babies so much easier than crazy freaking three-year-old but they're so much harder in some ways too so you know it's just there's ups and sides ups and downs to both but I'm also very excited to just get like the diapers out of the way like <laughs> I think about it and I'm like if I were to wait another three years after Jacob I'm straight be doing diet change in diapers for like nine years you know like that's nuts I don't want to be changing diapers for nine years but on the flip side of that I'm gonna be having two babies that I have to change diapers for and with Jaden I potty trained him before Jacob got here so I got like two months of a break of not having to change diapers and that was so nice but now I will not have that break I will be diapering it up with two little babes um not really looking forward to that but like I said makes it to where it will be over with sooner um the downsides is that's one of the downsides is the whole diaper thing expensive like ridiculously expensive to have two kids in diapers at the same time but we'll deal I'm pretty nervous because I had about three years with Jaden before I had Jacob I felt like we had a lot of quality time together a lot of time to bond and everything like that and uh, Jacob won't even be a year old so I just feel like you know I don't have as much time with him and I feel guilty for that a little bit in my head but everything will be okay and um, we'll get through it one day at a time uh, another downside hmm I can't really think of too many downsides truthfully I just I'm just nervous because I haven't had kids this close but everyone I talk to tells me says Ashley you're gonna be okay <laughs> and I'm like Thanks, I need to hear that because I'm fucking freaking out up here. Um, but yeah. It's been a while, so I'm a little nervous talking to the camera. So bear with me here. Um, what I've been getting asked a lot is, will I have another J name? Because we have Jaden and then we have Jacob. 
And yes, since I'm having another boy, his name will start with a J and we will probably do a name reveal. We already know what the name is going to be, so do a few other people. Um, but you guys don't, so we can tell you guys and surprise you guys and let you know what his name will be. It's very cute. Yeah. Um, is Josh excited? Yes, he's actually very excited. We were both hoping for a boy, but, I mean, we were both hoping for a girl, but, um, sorry, I keep looking out the window because my mom is leaving, but we were both hoping for a girl. It's okay. We're having another boy. I guess we both just only, uh, produce boys and that's okay. We're going to have a very testosterone filled home. I'm going to be definitely outnumbered here. Um, he's very excited though. He honestly is a little more excited than I was because I was freaking out, still kind of am. But he is very good at keeping his cool and uh, being very level-headed, so and that helps me a lot because if he was freaking out as bad as I was freak uh, as bad as I've been freaking out inside, I don't think it'd be very pretty. <laughs> but he's keeping me he's keeping me uh, sane here. Um, now my family, on the other hand, not that they're not excited, they are very excited. When I told them, they were very shocked, just like, whoa, really? Josh and I have had a lot going on in the past year, just being young parents, figuring out what we're doing in this life, um, goals, and and somewhat struggling at, po at some points, you know? So um, it hasn't been easy by any means, but we have been together for eight years now. We are trugging through it. We are getting, you know, we are figuring out how to do it together and grow together and support each other's goals. It isn't easy, but if you want to be with somebody, doesn't matter who you're with, it's going to be work no matter what. And there's going to be struggles and there's going to be hard times and there's going to be good times and you just have to work past those hard times so that you can have the good times. My dog's barking. You can probably see him right there. Alright, nobody was knocking at my door. We just live on a busy street and my dog can't not bark at anybody. He has to bark at everybody that walks by. Um, anyway, I was almost finished with this. What I, was, what, uh, I was almost finished with what I was saying. Um, what are our plans for after baby number three gets here? Obviously, Josh is going to continue working because that is how our family is still going you know what I mean like he supports his family he does a very good job at it he works very hard um, I do work at Red Robin I only work three days a week as a server and I don't live in some big town or anything so I don't get some crazy amount of money but um, it helps gets me out of the house for a little while unfortunately I don't think I am going to be able to continue working because I'm gonna have three kids and it's pretty hard to ask somebody to watch three kids all the time even though it is only three days it's kind of hard to ask somebody to watch three kids um, truthfully I don't have the money to pay for a babysitter so this is kind of how it's gonna work out I'm gonna try to figure out something to do at home because you know that's just the best thing that I can do for our family at this time so I'm gonna try really hard at trying to figure out what I can do at home and be as productive and help Josh with his business as much as I can um, I'm very interested in like graphic design I'm good on the computer organizing paperwork stuff like that so I'm kind of gonna be his manager and keep all his paperwork in line I'm gonna schedule out his jobs and stuff like that so after the baby gets here probably won't go back to work not probably I'm not going back to work um, yeah so I'll be a stay-at-home mom full-time stay-at-home not mom no part-time job and that's okay um, because being a full-time being a full-time mom it is a full-time job and if you don't think so you probably don't have kids or you're probably not a mother or you're probably not a stay-at-home dad or anything like that. It is a full-time job. It's 24-7. Even when it's supposed to be everyone's sleeping and you have little babies, you still don't get 
100% sleep all the time and you're still working and um, I notice that when I have babies this little like Jacob right now six months that it's even hard for me to kind of sleep because I feel like every little noise wakes me up like oh is he okay is everything you know so um, yeah all I'm getting at is that the being a mom is going to be my full-time job uh, it's the most important job in this world we are creating humans for tomorrow and oh hi shadow hi boy hi hi um, so yeah uh, I'm just gonna keep trying to work really hard and trying to figure out what I can do at home keep doing my YouTube because that makes me happy I enjoy it uh, yeah so anyway that's what is the the gist of what's going on <sighs> Are there any other videos you'd like to see on this subject? If there are, leave them in the comments below. Ask me some questions and I can answer them. Uh, yeah, and I guess I will give you a belly update because, heck, why not? It looks just like this right now. I'm 19 weeks. Yes, I know. I'm little. I hear it all the time. Uh, can't really tell when I wear baggy clothes to be completely honest but I'm pregnant and uh, this is a this is how it's going I'm excited I'm nervous got all these mixed emotions but let's just do it let's just freaking do it I believe that we aren't given anything in this life that we can't handle even if it's hard so I know that I can do it I'm just I'm a stressor, I stress, I overthink everything, and um, I know that everything will be okay, even though I'm freaking out up here. <laughs> Alright, bye guys, have a good day. If you are interested in keeping up to date with us, subscribe, click the post notifications button so that you are updated when we upload, and um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you all soon, bye!